Don't worry. I tied the blindfold in place while you were sleeping. It won't be slipping off anytime soon. So there's nothing to worry about. Nothing to stop me from admiring how gorgeous you are up close. Without having to worry about turning you into stone. I know I can't look you in your beautiful eyes like this. But I can still admire the rest of you. <laughs> no. Not this time. I'm tired of covering my eyes whenever you stay here. I know the risks. The dangers of accidentally petrifying someone. But having to wear a blindfold or those special glasses in my own home is just annoying. I don't mind wearing them when you're around. It just gets a little tiresome now that you're spending more and more time here. No, baby. I don't mind. I'm happy you're staying here with me more often. You just have to understand that I've never been in a relationship like this before. So I've never really adjusted to having someone in my space long term. I'm used to being able to keep my eyes uncovered at home. Babe, don't apologize. It's not your fault. And it's not that big a deal, really. I know the house well enough that when I wear the blindfolds, I can still move around without too much trouble. Trust me. I've gotten used to wearing them out in public. I'm sure I'll get used to wearing them here at home, too. Yes, that too. You're going to be using these blindfolds a lot more often if you're gonna spend more time here. I mean, you're going to have to get used to wearing them, too. You know that, right? <sighs> Thank you, honey. It means a lot to me that you're willing to do this. I cherish every opportunity I get to spend close to you. Being able to see you like this. <laughs> They like it, too. Being close like this, my snakes can sense you more easily. It doesn't bother you, does it? I know they can be curious. Fine, fine. I'll take care of them. They're just as eager to get close to you as I am. Not that I can blame them. It's not often we get the chance. My kind have to be cautious when we get close with someone. Because of the dangers associated with our species. Turning someone to stone with just a glance may have been useful in the past. But nowadays it just makes everything more difficult. Especially when I find myself in a relationship with a particularly vulnerable human. One that keeps insisting on spending more time together at my house like this. <laughs> you weren't planning on leaving me again tomorrow, were you? You told me you may have next week off of work. I don't have any plans next week either. And I was thinking, maybe we could spend some quality time together. Maybe go somewhere nice. I mean, you deserve a break. 
don't you think? And what better way to take a break than for the two of us to go somewhere and just relax away from everyone and everything else. Wouldn't that be nice? Good. So it's settled. Next week, you and I are going to go somewhere special. Somewhere that's perfect for the two of us. But until then... I just want to be close to you. Oh, don't worry about that. I've already taken care of it. It'll be a surprise. Trust me, you'll love it. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Now stop asking questions. I'm not telling you anything else. Like I said, I want it to be a surprise. Yes, I suppose we could get up, get the day started. But I think I'd rather keep laying here in bed with you for a while longer. We have this time off together, and I'd like to spend as much of that with you as possible. Even if it's just the two of us cuddling in bed like this. Fine, I'll let you up. In a few minutes or so, when I'm finished hugging you. <laughs> but until then, you're mine. And you're staying right where I want you. Here on the bed with me. I haven't gotten to see you nearly as much as I would like lately. And I plan on making up for lost time while you're here. <sighs> there. I just love being able to wrap myself around you like this. Keeping you nice and snug in my tail. Holding you in my arms is nice. But I much prefer to wrap my tail around you to keep you close. Once I let you up, I think I'll go make us some breakfast. I have some cockatrice eggs for myself, and I have some chicken eggs for you. Does that sound good? Then... I think I'm going to finish packing my things for our vacation. I suppose I should tell you that you'll need to pack bags for at least a week. Just pack everything you'd need for any other trip or vacation you'd go on. Oh, and don't forget to pack some bathing suits. Okay, honey? Good. This will be the first trip we've taken together, won't it? I'll tell you more about it later. But trust me, it will be an unforgettable experience. I'm so excited. And the trip itself isn't even the best part. There's something special about the place we're going to. Well, supposedly, they've been working on experimental contact lenses that Gorgons can wear that will prevent our curse from turning anyone who sees our eyes into stone. 
They aren't available for public purchase yet. But while we stay at the resort, they'll let visiting Gorgons use disposable contact lenses to get some feedback about how they feel, if they cause any problems for us, that sort of thing. No need to worry about that. They assured us the lenses have been thoroughly tested already using volunteers and a lot of anti-petrification magic. Very expensive, from what I've heard. But apparently there are quite a few people out there who are sympathetic toward my kind. Enough that they were willing to spend the money to develop these things. That's what I've been so excited about. I'm hoping that in a few months or a year, hopefully not much longer, that they'll be making longer lasting versions of these contacts for public use. <sighs> anyway, I was planning on making it a surprise, but I just couldn't keep it to myself any longer. <sighs> okay, I'll let you up now. After all, you have to start getting ready for our trip. <laughs> <sighs> we'll have plenty of time for that once we're at the resort, I'm sure. And you might not even have to wear a blindfold this time. Won't that be nice? Yes, I'll finally be able to really look into your eyes. It's something I've been dreaming about being able to do ever since we first met. It's going to be wonderful. Good. <laughs> I'm so glad you're as excited as I am. I think we're both going to love it. If the contacts work, it could open up so many options for us. We can go to so many more places together, do so many more things. Yes, that's part of why they want to bring us into the resort instead of just sending them out to be tested. <sighs> Probably a marketing thing too. They bring us in, we do all these fun things together now that neither of us have to be blindfolded, and we're more likely to purchase their product. Well, whatever works. Whatever gets these fancy lenses made so I can wear them. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna get started on breakfast. Come meet me at the table in a bit when it's ready, all right? Love you. <laughs>